Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I'm going to show you how to dynamically create ADF Rich Faces components on a web page programmatically through a managed bean. The first thing I'm going to do is just create a new application and we'll just call this Dynamic App. And we'll make sure this is a Fusion web application and I'll just stick with all the other default values. You'll see that the application package prefix is com.example. I'll just hit finish. So what this does is it generates the model and view layers. And we end up with this screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and kill this window. We're not even going to be creating a database connection here. I just want to show you how the web page interacts with the bean. So what we're going to do next is create a web page. Let's just double click on our ADFC config and we'll drag over here a view and then double click on that view which creates our web page. I'll just call this test page and then hit OK. Now to make my page look a little nicer, I'm going to put out a layout component. We'll just put a panel header on here. And we'll just call this dynamic form. Like that. I'd like to let the end user click on a button to make an input text field appear. So let's drag and drop a button on there. We'll have this say, push me. Now, we want to bind our form to a managed bean. So you'll see in our structure window down here that we have our form. And we can move this property inspector over here a little bit. If you go down to the advanced area, you'll see binding. When we talk about bindings with ADF components, it just means that we have programmatic access to that particular component. So once we get programmatic access to our form, then we can grab the form's children and add to it and uh, then refresh it using partial page rendering. So for the binding, you'll see we have this little editor. So here's edit, and we don't really have an, a, a good managed bean yet to work with. So let's just go ahead and create one. I'll call this test bean. And let's also call this test bean right here. Now the bean name up here is how we refer to it from our JSF page. In fact, if we wanted to shorten this, we could just call it TB. And we're going to make this belong to the com example view package. And we'll just make that request scope. Generate class if it does not exist. So there it is. And we don't have a property, so let's add a property. So we're going to call this the form. So when this bean is created, it will now have an attribute called the form, and the data type will be the ADF Rich Faces form component. Just to show you what I'm talking about, I'll double click up here. You see this is where our generated bean was created. And you'll see right in here, we have a rich form, and it's called the form with the appropriate getters and setters. Now we're going to reference this bean from our button as well. So here's our push me button. And we're going to add an action listener to it. So here's our action listener. Hit this drop down. We'll say edit. Here's our bean. And we don't have any available methods, but we'll hit new and create one. So maybe we call this method do something. I know I'm getting really descriptive, aren't I? So now that we have that, let's go ahead and look at our Java code again. Ah, here we go. Public void do something. It takes as its argument an action event, and now we can put our code in here. Well, we have a programmatic handle on the form. The form dot. We can get the children, and you'll see that get children returns a list of UI components. Okay, so it's just asking about the importing. We'll go ahead and do that. The next thing I want to do is create a rich input text component and then add it to the children. So I'll say rich input text 
we'll just call this input text, equals new rich input text. Now we can do something to it, but we want to make sure, first of all, that we import it. Okay, looks good. All you have to do is hit Alt-Enter to make that happen. So now I can say input text dot. You can set the submitted value if you want to. Maybe we want it to say hello world. Now, just because we have this rich input text doesn't mean that it's actually a child of the form. What we have to do here is add it to the children. So now that we have a handle on the children, we say children dot add passing in the input text. Easy enough, right? Now remember the page is not going to magically refresh itself. We need to use partial page rendering to make that happen. So the next thing we want to do is get a handle on the ADF faces context so we can add the partial target passing in the form. What that does is it implements partial page rendering for the form. Okay, so the way we do that is we say ADF faces context, let's just call this CTX, equals ADF faces context dot get current instance. So now we have a handle on the context, so we'll say add partial target, passing in our component, which is the form. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So what happens during runtime? Well, we run the page, the user clicks on a button, it invokes the action listener, which is this method in here, it creates the rich input text, it adds that rich input text to the form, and then we do partial page rendering on the form. Let's see this in action. Right click on your JSP and run it. Okay, here's our web form. Let's check this out. Click on the push me button. And there it is. And you can push it multiple times and you'll get multiple instances stamped on this page here. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Come visit us at www.fireboxtraining.com.